Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I'm going to do a split cut pour on this canvas and this is the challenge of the week from Tish at the Artist's Haven. So if you get a chance, check out Tish's channel and I will list that in the description. Um, the cup I'm using today is a four chamber cup and I did purchase this from Mixed Media Girl. Again, I will list her channel in the description. And this is the color palette challenge of the week. I'm kind of excited about it because it's such nice bright colors. The first color is just the Blick Black and I'm using that as my base coat. My next color is Liquitex Basic Cerulean Blue. My next color is Liquitex Basics Hooker's Green. My next color is a combination of King Art Sky Blue and Amsterdam Titanium White. I just lightened that blue up a little bit. And my last color is a combination of um, Blick Primary Yellow, which is the majority of the color, but I added a dab of the Amsterdam reflex orange to that because orange is one of the colors of the palette this week let me show you consistency i've left it a little bit on the thicker side today because i do uh i do want to leave some definition between colors it does leave quite a trace there and all my paints today were mixed seven parts of the mix in one part paint. I did thin a little bit with water and I will leave uh, Christie's, Krista's um, site where you can purchase the mix if you would be interested. So what I'm going to do is uh, turn the camera off. I'm going to put down my base coat. I'm going to fill my little split cup, bring you back and we'll get to painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my uh, base coat of Blick Black down. I filled my cup, as you can see. I just layered different colors all the way up. And we're gonna start pouring, and I think I'm just going to pour right in the center here. Just see how these colors play together. Not really planning on a ring pour. going to pour it down just a dirty cup pour and then I'll move it down here and try and make some I think some artists call these fingers like I said I am excited to use this color palette because it's so bright Okay, just going to take my skewer here, just play with that a little bit. Now I think I will give it a torch. Pop some of those air bubbles. I did mix this paint yesterday, so I'm hoping to not get too many air bubbles. Again, I'm using the mix today. And I really like how the mix lets the colors blend and the transparency it gives. So I'm just going to do some tipping now. I'm going to try and leave some negative space because black is one of the colors in the color palette.
And I'll move that back into the center. And we're going to move it down on the canvas now. I'll let a little of that paint run off down there. Move it back a little bit here to the center. Then move it down to this corner. And bring it back. And I'm going to slowly bring it over to this corner. Just going to take a look at it now. I see something in here that doesn't belong, or I did, I can find it again. It may just be an air bubble. Now I'm going to take it off this edge here. I think I can afford to take off some of this blue just to stretch my lines out a little better. With using the mix, I like to stretch out my lines as much as possible because I think it gives the best effects when you're able to do that. And now I'll bring it back. more towards the center. And I'm going to bring it back down here. Possibly take some more off down in this far corner here. And bring it back. It's starting to run a little slower, which is good. Let's me know that I am getting rid of a lot of the excess paint. Just running some off this far corner here. And bringing it back. And down a little bit. Just to try and open up a little bit of that, yep, that orangey color. Now I'm just going to take another look at it, see what I have going on here. Cleaning off the bottom with my finger. I think I will give it another torch. OK. 
Okay, and I am going to run it a little bit more down to this corner. Run a little bit more of that off. And bring it back. I'm going to take a look at it now. I'm really liking it. I'm just wondering if I'd like to put a few black lines just to give the eye a little extra to see here. So let's give that a try. I'm going to take some of my black base coat here. and a popsicle stick to see if I can run a line, just a little bead of a line here. Just through the paint like that. Try it again here. I think it really does um, perk up this painting a little bit. Just add a little bit of black here and there. Okay, I think that added just a little bit of something something to this painting. Like it a little better. And I'm going to give it another torch and then I think I'll get you down for a close up. Again, this was a 12 by 16 inch canvas challenge of the week by Tish at the Artist Haven. And let's get you down for a close up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close up. This is the upper left hand corner. And I really did like working with this color palette. Just going down the left hand side here you can see where I did add those black lines just for a little bit of added dimension and here we have the lower left hand corner
This was just a dirty cut pour. And I really do like how those lines are so crisp in there. And then some are kind of muted. Here is the center. Pretty happy with that. Take you to the uh, lower right hand side here now. And we'll just go up the right hand side of the painting. So again, thanks for the challenge, Tish. If you get a chance, check out the Artist Haven channel. She has a weekly channel and she does go live five days a week. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. If you haven't subscribed, please, please consider doing so. That'll help my channel grow. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.